Okay, I'm starting on my uh, evening walk while there's still daylight. Uh, we seem to have had a slight break in the uh, heat wave anyway. No, it's not so bad today. <laughs> it's a feels like temperature of 42 compared to 43 the last several days. Anyway, uh, I am on the um, road that goes parallel to the beach uh, in Kata. Now you got to go over the hill into Karan to see the sand. Or you can take a couple of little, uh, two shortcut roads to get to Kata Beach from, from uh, the beachfront road, I call it. But it's about, I don't know, about 5.30 in the afternoon on a Thursday. Uh, I plan on looking for reflected water. That's my uh, photo goal of the day. And uh, other than going to the beach and taking pictures of clouds reflecting in, in the ocean, I'm going to go to where they have canals up by uh, the, uh, what is it called, the Naga in Karan, which is going to be about a round trip, uh, 10,000 step walk. All right, so I'm going to turn it off while I uh, try to navigate some uh, traffic here. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the elevation gain on this uh, road is. I've got a new app that one of the breakdowns actually shows me. Uh, thing is, the app takes a long time to load up, and I tend to forget it's there. Uh, but I'm hoping I remember it for tomorrow's hike, because I plan on tackling uh, Cal Nakar tomorrow, which is a big hill at the top has a big Buddha. But I'm heading north out of Kata on my way to Karan at the moment. We got dinosaurs over here. Okay. Dino Golf has finally reopened after COVID not long ago. You got this guy here. You got the guy on the golf ball. And then in the jungle back there, you got a whole bunch of other animatronic type of dinosaurs. Uh, I guess they don't turn them on this early uh, in the day, but they're up there. You can see uh, Brontosaurus, I think. Okay, uh, maybe when I come back, they'll start coming to life. Because I gotta look for some food in the evening, right? Kata is a, a sub-district of Peron. Uh, but there, Kata has two beaches, Kata Noi, Kata Yai. Uh, Karan actually has one beach. Uh, the Karan Municipality Building is in Kata. So it gets a little confusing. Uh, my mail, uh, although I live in Kata, is addressed to Karan. Okay, that way is Kata, and then you come down the hill, and then it levels out along Karan Beach. Uh, so I'm going downhill towards that, pretty much, uh, Karan, I think, officially starts at the crosswalk. Still on the hill. All this stuff in, in Kata blocks the beach. Karan, luckily, doesn't block the beach, so you can actually see it while you walk on the sidewalk. And, um... You know, the, the, the restaurants and stuff are truly beach view, as are uh, the resorts that our office is be. Okay, across the street used to be Karan Stadium, which was a big soccer stadium, but they tore that down a few months ago. Uh, I'm hoping they do something nice with it, and it's not just going to be another resort. Okay, well getting close to sunset there's a few people still out here okay. 
But me, I'm going to continue on to uh, the Quran of uh, the Naga because there's uh, some man made canals adjacent to that, and I can probably get a pretty good shot of. Uh, reflection in the water. That's that's my uh, photo assignment for today. This here comes a song tell. Eh. Which driver? Oh, I like this guy. He's a good guy. Coming up, we got a uh, cop, uh, ice cream shop and a coffee shop next to a um, pizza restaurant and some kind of um, all-day swimming place. Uh, I always forget about these, but one of these days I want to ch check them out. Sweet Talk, Coffee Talk, Chow Pizza, and then Zippy Day Club. Okay, that's one of the tsunami towers they built after the 2004 tsunami. Can you believe it's coming up on 20 years this December already? Maybe. Get, getting close to sunset and I still have a little ways to go. Uh, I'm getting close to the uh, the clong. So uh, I can probably get my picture. I'm not worried about the time crunch. Uh, since I'm coming this far, I think I'm going to go to the uh, Quran Circle and then go down on the beach right there. I just came down to uh, one of the bridges across one of these little man-made canal things. Uh, in Thai, canal is Klong, K-H-L-O-N-G, rendered most of the times in, uh, in English. Uh, but it's all algaed up, so I'm not going to get a reflection from that one. Hopefully the other ones further up uh, are a little more clear. Okay. This is the area I was talking about for getting my, my reflection photo. Uh, but first I'm going to swing up to the, uh, the Twin Nagas up here. And get a couple of shots. Now I'm going to have to hurry because the sun's dipping low. If my, my Klong reflection photo doesn't pan out. I'll zip over there and get a picture of the sun reflection reflected in the Andaman Sea. Alright. But this is pretty close to Quran Circle. I think the actual circle is about another half a kilometer further down. Okay. And you got two big Naga statues. Uh, I don't know the significance of these. Uh, Naga is kind of a sea serpent. The, uh, this is what Thailand has instead of uh, Year of the Dragon. It's officially Year of the Naga. Although nobody knows that. <laughs> I, I wrote an article about it on my blog some time ago. But we got big Naga here. Oh, I got a little reflection from the water down there. This is going to work. And you have the small one here. And it gets her smoking right in front of it, which I just saw the sign. It is a 5,000 baht fine, but the police only check at the end of the month. You'll see them come down this sidewalk too. Uh, <laughs> hello. Okay. But here we have, I call it Baby Naga. Inland. Out to sea. Got my first sunset of May. Um, 
It was nice. Now uh, here, oh, he's getting ready to go. Be careful, see, I'm not tangled in lines. He's gonna land right on me for a minute. <laughs> yeah. He'll come right over here. Oh, look at the sun now. My goodness. Off into the wild, not blue yonder, but orange. It is very small kids. <laughs> In the U.S. there's probably an age limit. I think they're lower than that age limit. That's okay, that's one thing I love about Thailand. You pay the money, you can go. But man, look at that, how the sun is against that. Beautiful. Kids. They weren't up there for very long, five minutes maybe. Oh, well, maybe they take kids for a lesser amount of time or something. Who knows? The kids just went back up. <laughs> they gained uh, another person, I think it's one of the guys who worked the boat. Lovely time of the day though. Getting ready to head back south. Just the sunset keeps getting more and more orange. I thought we were done with it. Almost all Chinese in this part of the beach, which is cool. There's a few um, non Chinese Europeans, I suspect, probably Russian, but I'm not sure. I been able to decipher any uh, languages. Yeah, everybody's enjoying themselves. No craziness like you get in Patong or someplace. Just relax. I don't know how many people are tourists, how many are expats. Probably half and half at this point. close to where everybody's on the beach. I worry about the ropes. There they come. Wow. Back up again. Is that still the kids? Okay, saying goodbye to Karan, and we're going to make start the long walk back to Keta. 
it's roughly uh, about 5,000 steps from the Naga to get home. Uh, a very nice sunset. Well, a pretty good walk. Uh, I'm still not even to the tsunami uh, warning tower yet. And I got this big bright light on top of my head from these uh, street lights. Uh, street lights are shaped like uh, Nagas too. Uh, Karan's a little Naga crazy. Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm sure there's got to be a story. Sometimes I'll have a uh, one that walks out. Like, like now. <laughs> well, that was kind of lucky. All right. Hello. Um, the thing is, if you corral a tourist, uh, what they really want is you to put money in the mouth of the, the dinosaur. Okay. Let's see if the kid knows this. I told the little Russian kids that if you put money in the dinosaur's mouth, he does a little dance. And they start begging their dad for um, some money to put in the dinosaur's mouth. And the dad wasn't having it at all. Russian. No sense of humor. Okay, and the dino steaks in there. I guess they put This road's kind of tricky. has to cross because people come and they're turning up towards Tehran and then they come out of that road up there there's no lights or anything you got the the revving the motorbike kind of guys fly through without helmets you hear those guys all night long alright and then you got people going right to the beach or left from uh, uh, the beach you, you just it, it's hard to cross the road here what I do I go up a little bit further closer to the beach wait for all these people coming okay and then I just cross where it's safer which is further up the road and then I double back this is all like Russia land up in here. Okay. Yeah, pay attention to you know what you think the drivers are gonna do. I can see the tuk tuk guy was gonna pull out pretty soon and he just did. Just swerved out. You gotta anticipate other drivers, other pedestrians. And stay safe. And don't get frustrated when somebody cuts you off in one way or the other, because that's going to happen. Plus, most of the foreigners, they, they can't read the traffic. They, uh, so some of them will stand there waiting to cross forever and a day. Uh, I'm pretty adept at it. I, I, I can kind of gauge the speed and I know when to cross. See? Whatever. Hey, there's a smart bus coming up. The best way to get to Patong is a smart bus or anything else up the coast other than past Quran. They move inland uh, after the Quran circle. Uh, you know, it's a hundred baht, it's air conditioned. You can go all the way to the airport on the same hundred baht. Which I might do early next week. Because once I finish the Big Buddha, the only thing on my Phuket bucket list that I'll be able to check off is going to Michael Beach just near the airport and watching the planes come in over the beach. 